you see it guys we finally got the armor vortex 550 mega in the house let's get 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 it kind of far away from here. I just ordered it from Amazon. Ooh, boy. Yes. What's going on, guys? Strongsy Dogs here. Welcome back to the channel. Yes, y'all. Back with another one. We thought it wasn't gonna be another one. That's right. We back with another one, man. Another smooth unboxing. We back in the studio. We back in the lab. So before we get into this unboxing, because I know y'all wanna see it, this is gonna be an unboxing, and we're gonna run this thing all in the same video. So I need you guys to hold tight, rock with me for a minute. Before we get into all that, one major thing I need y'all to do is major key. Major key, y'all. And it's uh totally free for you guys. You guys go ahead and hit that like button. Smash that like button, help me crack the YouTube algorithm and keep pushing my videos to the top. You guys are true supporters of Drawing the Dogs. If y'all really rock with me, I need y'all to go ahead and smash the like video, guys. Smash the heck out of that like video. And also leave me a comment. I love hearing you guys. I love reading the comments. I love interacting with you guys. I love responding with you guys. So go ahead and drop me a comment below and I'll definitely get at you. So what we got for you guys today is an all new Armor Vortex 550 Mega two-wheel drive, guys. Based on the same chassis as the Armor Gorgon. I got the Armor Gorgon over here. That thing is freaking awesome. So I'm hoping and I'm expecting this thing to be awesome as well. I know there's been a million and one unboxings on YouTube already. We're going to make this thing really quick, guys. And we're going to try to get this thing out because it's been raining off and on. And you guys know how two-wheel drive trucks do in the rain. They don't do so well. So we're going to get this thing out, guys. And we're going to check it out. So let's get, get, get it. Hopefully you guys hit that like button for me. Like I said, it's greatly appreciated. We're trying to crack that YouTube algorithm and get these videos pumped out for everybody to know that Drones and Dogs is where it's at, y'all. I know that's where it's at. So uh, I ordered this yesterday from Amazon and it came today, man. So I mean, you can get it from your local hobby shop. My hobby shop is kind of far away from here, so I just ordered it from Amazon. Ooh, boy. Yes. Yes. So this is the um almost ready to run version, you guys. The blue, the blue one. So it doesn't come with the battery and stuff. And I don't need that. But if you don't have any batteries or you this is your first RC car, I definitely recommend spending a little extra money and you can get the uh ready to run version with the battery and the charge and all that good stuff. So we got a little box here. You want to check that out. I love the way Armor packages their stuff, man. They package their stuff real nice, man. You know what I'm saying? They always, they always give you the your boy points. You know what I'm saying? They always do that. They always hook you up. Ooh, this bad boy is nice. I never had a Vortex. I always wanted one. And now I got one, man. I got a two-wheel drive joint. Goodie bags with a lot of extras. A lot of extras. Your boy got them extras. Keep them extras on the Look at him sit there real pretty, real pretty, real pretty. Like, we're going to check out these, these little uh, accessories. So, of course, we got our radio here in the box. And I don't really have any complaints about these. This is the SLT2, uh, same radio that comes with the Gorgon. So, of course, you got 50, 75, and 100% uh, throttle rates. You got the uh, steering and reverse switch on the this side as well you got an on and off switch and then on this side you got steering rate steering radius and um steering trim of course and trigger foam i mean this is this is real nice and then of course you got your batteries and they give you batteries in here you get the armor batteries in here you get four you need four double a batteries and they are included I'm used, I'm used to saying not included but they are included thank you armor being one of the top companies out there, you should be including batteries. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So that is pretty nice. That is pretty nice. I'm gonna put this in my little uh, my little box over here. Little box over here. 
set him to the side. You get a lot of accessories. As I was stating, you get uh, batteries for the transmitter, for double A's, and these are Arma double A's. Can you get those in the store? You get a little um, buying plug here, should you have to rebind or you lose buying with the receiver or you go brushes with the thing, you got a little buying, little buying plug here. Nice, they give you that. You got some shock preloader clips to adjust the suspension. So you can uh, use these preloads if you want. You got a nice little Allen key here. And you got a little tool here. A little tool here to change the tires and tighten up the tires and also work on a couple of different other things. So definitely go over the instruction and explains this tool and what everything this tool does. But it's mainly used for taking off the tires and adjusting the tires. I mean, tightening up the tires and stuff like that and adjusting the um, slipper clutch and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool. You got a nice little card here, support card, so you can uh, scan the QR code in the support card and it tells you all about the vehicle if you don't want to read the manual. So that's nice. What's new that Armor is doing with their new two-wheel drive kits, and they may be doing it with all of their kits now, I don't know, but this is new and everybody's been talking about that. You get these two little, um, these are, these are Allen wrenches, but they're really nice Allen wrenches. They're not the little, like, uh, small little cheaper ones you see right here in the little kit right here these are nice little grip ones so these are nice i'm not sure what size these are but these should be the sizes that you need to work on the vehicle and these are nice these these feel pretty good so i'm happy about that you get two of these bad boys i think they're different sizes one is smaller yeah one is smaller one is bigger so these should be cool so if you got to work on the vehicle tighten up anything all that stuff you can use these and I think that's pretty cool that Armor is innovative and in getting you new things and nice tools with the kit. And of course, guys, you got your uh, instruction manual here. Tells you all about the vehicle. You also have a, uh, see this goes over the little tool here I was telling you about, about adjusting the slipper clutch and stuff like that. So definitely read that. Definitely read that. It goes about adjusting the pinion gear and stuff like that. So definitely read this, keep this handy. And then your usual just instruction manual going over everything far as like getting the vehicle set up, getting it set up for running a 2S LiPo or nickel metal hydrate. So definitely keep these in your repertoire. So now, with all that being said, guys, let's go ahead and get to the meat and potatoes. I know that's what you guys are ready to see. Hopefully you didn't make all that too long. Ooh. I love this blue body. Look at this. Ooh, armor Vortex, man, two-wheel drives. Ooh. Uh, I don't think there's any, is there any foam in these tires. I don't think there's foam in these They feel nice and firm, though. They really do. I don't think there's any. They might be foam, but these, they feel really nice and firm. These tires, these are D-boots, of course. But they feel really good, nice and firm tires. So I don't think you will be wearing these tires out too quickly. Ah, oh, of course, we love you, love my arm. Look at that. Wow, I feel shocked. Suspension is nice and, ooh. So this thing can uh, absorb the jumps, guys. Nice roof rails on the top. This thing should be sweet. It's like a low-profile Gorgon. It is really nice. Nice, robust wing on the back. It's a low-profile Gorgon, guys. I am loving this. I am loving this. So they got what's new in this thing, what they call the hidden body retention system, guys. So it's a... Where you put pretty much pull the clips from underneath. You got a clip here, and you pull this one little clip here. You're supposed to pull that, and then you're supposed to. Let me see. Let me see now. You pull this. Okay. Okay now. Okay now. And then you just. Okay now, pal. You see that? You just pull it back. So, there you go. Look at that. Don't just bash. Blast, look at that body. That looks really nice. Really nice. Looks to be looks like it's gonna hold up a lot more better than the Gorgon body too as well. So nice. Nice, 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 nice. And of course we have that lower that lower L C G lower center of gravity gravity chassis than the Gorgon. Look at this thing, man. Nice blue battery tray to match the body. Of course, and then electronics are going to be pretty much the same as the Gorgon. I forgot what this is. What is this, like a 
I forget the amperage of this ESC, but uh, you do have to change the jumpers over if you are going to run a lipo, and this seems to be already in lipo mode, which is nice. It's already set to lipo mode, which I like. So it's already got the jumper set over to lipo. Cool, cool beans. Our servos up here, 550, 14 turn brush motor. It's going to have a 13 tooth pinion gear on here. Look at that. This feels nice and smooth. It's got the nice beefy diffs on here, guys. Look at that. Suspension is really good. I got a 2S. Like I said, this is the almost ready to run version, so it doesn't come with the battery. But I got a 2S LiPo that I will be running on here. It's already set to LiPo mode, so let's go ahead and take this battery tray out I like. All right. So plenty of room. And this has got the IC3 connector. So you have to use the IC3 battery or EC3 EC3 battery. I have a adapter I'm going to be using. It's going to be a EC3 to the Dean. So I'm going to be using that. And that's pretty much the, the gist of this bad boy, guys. I'm going to get this bad boy out. I am so excited to get this bad boy running. I've been waiting to get this. So uh, this hidden body retention system. Let's see, how, let's see how easy it is to put on. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see if we put this in here. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Your boy tripping. Hold on. I got to put that in there. Then I got to pull forward. Okay. 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 And then I got to put that in there. Okay. And then I got to push that down. Okay. And then I got to what? Start that up. Is that it? Okay. All right. Pretty easy. Pretty easy. All right. So, like I said, it's starting to rain on and off. We're going to get this bad boy outside. I got a battery charging. Catch you outside. Let's get it. Okay, guys. It's going to be our first run out of the box with the vortex guys so i got a 2s lipo in there it is a 5200 milliamp hour 30c 2s lipo so it's nothing crazy before we get into this run i need you guys to like this video smash the like button you already know so uh let's go ahead and answer the question that everybody's gonna want to know is how fast is this armor vortex brushed 550 mega so we're gonna see how fast it is. Got the GPS on there. Let's turn it on. It's starting to rain. I'm starting to feel some sprinkles. So let's turn the GPS on and let's get it. Okay, guys. GPS zeroed out. We're actually gonna start in 50% throttle mode. Let's click play on the GPS. Let it gather satellites. All right. I think it should be good. Let's make sure it's catching. So this is in 50% mode. It's not full throttle. Let's make sure. All right. Caught 4.9. GPS is catching, so full throttle, 50%. Yeah, my trimming is off a little bit. 50%. Just the lowest speed setting with a 2S light bulb. All right. Let's see, we got in 50%. Armor Vortex. Trim that, uh, trim it out a little bit. Um, 18.7. So, all right, that was our first run. Let's go to 75%. Let's click it at this thing in the 75% mode. I can get, get it in there. All right, 75%. So get your guesses in. We got 18.7. So let's do 75% and see what we got. Definitely can notice the difference. 75% guys. We're going on back. Full throttle. 2S lipo. It's only a 30C, so it's nothing too crazy. Starting to rain. So the rain drops picking up. Alrighty. So, alright. 21.1 1. 
25 percent all right so let's click this thing into 100 percent mode so this is 100 percent throttle mode guys and see what we get here 100 percent so we got 18 50 percent 21 75 percent where we're gonna get on 100 percent get in a hundred percent okay let's see 22.1 so we only gain a mile power difference from 75 percent to 100 percent that's interesting okay 22 22 miles per hour max where we're getting out of this with 20 with a 2s lipo you might get a little bit more once this uh brush motor breaks in this is the first run with it but so not too bad so let's get this bad boy running first thought still pretty good nice and planted with that lower lower uh cd chassis than the gorgon so it's definitely a little bit more planted into the turns if you ever driven a gorgon before you know what i'm talking about so it feels nice handles real nice especially for two-wheel drive yeah it's not the fastest thing but i mean this is more for like beginners beginners and their kids their first rc getting into the hobby and it's upgradable i mean you can put it as rust is ready so Soon as you get enough, as soon as you get tired of running like this, you can either gear it up or you can definitely put that brushed system in there. You're good to go. Okay, hit some jumps with it. See how it jumps. See how this bad boy jumps here. It's completely stock out the box. I did no adjustments or nothing like that. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. I feel the rain drop starting to pick up a little bit. Supposed to rain like on and off today. Ooh! Look at these catch right there. Took that. See how it does this thick grass. Oh yeah, no problem. No problem. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's a fun truck, y'all. It's a fun one. It's a fun little ripper, definitely. So I definitely will be going brushes with it at some point. I just don't know when. I just want to do all the tests with it in the stock form, test the durability first, see how it is completely stock, and then we'll do the upgrades to it. But so far, so good. You got no air control at all. No air authority at all. You start going, you get a little bit of brushless power going through it. Look at that. <laughs> Definitely a far more ripper though. Definitely a fun little ripper. Ooh. Take 
keep hitting the jump and surviving the jump. Ooh. Nice. Nice, nice. Yes, yes. Time, huh? Got a little bit of air. Yeah. All right, y'all. First run of this bad boy. Y'all let me know what y'all think. I think it's pretty good, though. For what it is, definitely going to do some upgrades to it, get a little bit more speed added to it. But stock out the box, I like it. Definitely for what you're paying for, 149. I don't think you can beat it, it's a good deal. Two wheel drive stadium truck, your boy Drone and Dogs. Appreciate you guys for watching. Please hit that like button, it helps out the channel tremendously. Catch you guys in the next episode. Check out one of my other videos. See you later, deuces.